Hello gentle viewers, this is Avindian welcoming you back to Tabletop Simulator where today we're going to be playing Pan Am. What a lovely picture this is, we're like floating above the earth. It's great. Um, Pan Am is an economic game in which players are attempting to earn money so they can buy stock. I want to take a brief moment to talk about um, something before we go any farther. One of the things that I think is most important for any good economic game is the objective of the game cannot be money. What do I mean when I say that? Think of a game like Monopoly. In Monopoly, the only thing that matters is whether you have the most money at the end of the game. So money is the only resource, and you're incentivized to hoard it and not spend it, because if you spend money and you don't make a profit, you're effectively hurting yourself in the game. I think that's boring. Uh, I really don't like Monopoly for a lot of reasons. It will never be on this channel, but that's one of those reasons. A game like um, Pan Am, however, money is used for lots and lots of things, and most importantly... You also use it for uh, buying stock, which is how you determine who wins the game, whoever has the most stock certificates. <clears throat> um, it is a game about building airlines um, and running routes across the world. So let's talk about a few basic concepts, starting with the board itself. The board consists of all kinds of different destinations that you can build routes to. Routes don't have to be contiguous. It makes sense for them to be, but it's not required. And every route is ranked one, two, three, or four. Like Tokyo to San Francisco is a four, for instance, whereas New York to Bermuda is a one. In order to claim a route, you need landing rights in both ends of a route. And claiming routes is the heart of this game. If you're not claiming routes, you're going to lose. You can get you can get landing rights to a particular route in one of four ways, which I have this panel of the manual open. First, you can build an airport. Second, you can have the destination card. That doesn't mean you discard it, though. You just get to go there. You can discard a card of the same region. So in this case, uh, New York Bermuda is the North America region. None of us have any North American cards. But if you had, say, San Francisco, that would count. You could discard San Francisco to build in New York. Or lastly, you can discard any two cards of the same color to get landing rights that way. Um, So that's the heart of the game. Once you claim a route, you get some passive income. And if Pan Am moves in and buys your route, you get a pretty fair chunk of change. Um, so this is a game about buying airplanes and using airplanes to claim routes because that's how much you put there. So you'll notice we have, I believe they're clippers and trimotors, right? Yeah, trimotors and clippers. Uh, these can only be placed on a one route these on a two route, and you can tell by the number of stripes on the wing of the airplane. Later on, as the game progresses, we'll unlock uh, cruisers and jets. And that'll give us more ways to play even longer routes for more money and more uh, options. <coughs> this is a worker placement game, and each one of us has five workers. Um, the number of workers is based on the number of players that you have. So if you have, for instance, um, <clears throat> two players, you each get all five. If you have four players, you only get three each, which is pretty sensible. So every turn, and I love this little player right here, I'm going to keep it here, is broken into four phases. There are seven rounds in the game, because there are seven event cards. <clears throat> and the first phase is the easiest. You always flip over the event card, do what the event says, and then plan from there. Next, you assign your engineers. Things always go in order of the letters. So the first thing we'll do is build an airport. Only one person can build an airport each round. 
because of the, the novel auction mechanic. Let me explain. Let us suppose I take my engineer here and I say I'm going to bid $5 to build an airport. Well, what yellow can then do is yellow can say, but I want an airport, I'm willing to bid $7. Then this gentleman comes home for immediate use. That's how the auction mechanic works. Um, it's important to note that you cannot pay more than the listed price. The arrows are just a reminder that it's an auction, um, but it doesn't mean like you can just keep paying more and more and more and more and more. Um, so, you always do airports first, then you get destinations, then you buy planes, then you claim routes, and then you get directives. Please note that with routes and directives, there is no arrow, which means these aren't auctions, which means multiple people can go there and do multiple things. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. Um, What else do you need to know to understand the game? Uh, buying airports is very, very simple. You literally get to put it anywhere you want. Um, and airports also are passive income, but they're really useful because they help you decide what to do with your... Um, they really help guide your strategy. <clears throat> That's basically it. Uh, for the engineer phase. You resolve everything um, important. You must pay costs. If you cannot afford them, you have to sell stock. You can't sell stock because you want to. You have to sell stock to pay costs because you can bid anything you want to. But if you can't afford it, you have to spend all your money and then you don't get to do the action. Um, so unlike a game like, say, Power Grid, where you can't legally bid more than you can afford, here you can bid more than you can afford. It's just really stupid. Um, so you want to be thinking mathematically as you're playing so that you don't overbid yourself. Um, and I have to remind myself... Oh, that's right. Um, directives you get priority access that was the thing there um the fourth phase is the pan am phase <clears throat> and this is based on the event card and these are the routes that pan am is going to buy you lose your passive income but you gain money right away in this case five if it's a one route like say beijing to shanghai nine if it's a two twelve if it's a three or four if it's a fourteen um so basically, you lose passive income, but you gain a lot more money. The second part of the Pan Am phase is, of course, getting your passive income. Finally, you get to buy as much stock as you want in player order. Um, one of the important balances of this game that you'll see as we play is that it's absolutely critical to make sure you have enough money on hand for what you want to do the next turn but also that you're buying stock regularly because whoever has the most stock at the end of the game is the winner. Uh, the tiebreakers, which you can see on your screen here, awesome player aid, by the way, I love it, um, is money, and if we're tied in money too, then we both win. Um, so let's get going, which means we reveal the first event. Our stock price is set to four. And we know based on this symbol, I believe that means we roll the die. Yeah, I think you just roll the die one time. That's what that means. Oh, so there you go. At the start of the expansion phase, Pan Am expands once among the South American path. Uh, so you always start at Miami for Pan Am because that's where they were based and that means they're going to be heading in this direction uh, I believe the dots is South America yeah 
So what that means is that's going to happen automatically. And then they're going to roll, and that's going to determine things there. So we're now ready to start playing the game. We're now in the engineer phase, and red is first player. Uh, we'll be rotating first player at the end of the... I believe it's at the end of the Pan Am phase is when you... Yeah, there you go. I'm going to keep this page open because I can never freaking remember what the different symbols mean. Um, so, what does Red want to do on their turn? Well, Red has the destinations for Bogota and Tokyo, but also has a directive. And this is a secret card that only they know about, which says you can sell a plane to earn $4. That's not a terrible idea. If, for example, you're free, you're, you're willing to give up a tri motor for four dollars, it's pretty good. On the other hand, um, it's not the greatest of directive cards. Directive cards can only play in specific phases. Here, the planes phase, and they offer some sort of cool bonus. But for right now, I'm not that worried about that. So, where would Grand Olympian Air like to play? As a side note, if I could change one thing about Pan Am, I'd like to see each fleet have some kind of cool rule breaker. But at the end of the game, it's a great game. It's really balanced, and I quite like it. Uh, so, because they have Tokyo, if they built a um, an airport in, say, Shanghai, that's an instant route that they can claim. Which would be pretty cool. There is another Tokyo card available, however. Um, so there's always a chance that... Um, that Tokyo becomes... A, a, this, this could become really fought over for both of us. There's a lot of really short routes here. Um, and what does my opponent have? My opponent has New Delhi and Port of Spain. Uh, which is down here. Um, there's actually a pretty decent amount of options here. Oh, uh, yeah, you don't fill destinations till the end. That was stupid. Um, I didn't click the start button, by the way. I love this mod. But if you click it, it only deals stuff out to the people that are seated. And I can only be seated in one place because I'm only one person. So for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to use the setup here. But let me say it works really, really well. And you should definitely do it for your own games. So red and yellow both have $12 to start out with. And red is going to say, I am going to bid. Because they want it pretty bad, right? They want to get in the first. They're actually going to bid $7 on airports. Now, one thing I need to remind myself of is if you get bumped. I'm trying to remember if you use that engineer immediately. Or... Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so basically what that means is that um, you'll get to use them again later on. So Red is making a strong claim to get an airport. So now I switch to yellow. And it just so happens I won't be switching back and forth. They both got the exact same card, which is pretty crazy. Uh, but we're going to stick with red because it's a good reminder for me that they're the first player. So, my yellowy chum, where would you like to build? Only one person can build an airport. And the other annoying thing um, if yellow can get Beirut and Saigon they'll have a decent amount of play in the Asian market. There's Saigon there's Beirut um are any of them next to New Delhi? Beirut is, but this is not going to be a legal route to begin with. 
Um. Yellow Source Engineer is going to come over here to uh, Beirut. Now Red gets to place um, a person. Red is thinking that they're going to probably get their airport. Which means they can be assured of the possibility of creating a route. They can either go, they can go Tokyo to Shanghai. They've got a guaranteed route. So they're going to go ahead and say, I'm going to claim a route. Back to yellow. Yellow is going to come over here and they're going to try to get Saigon for free. Red is going to come over here and try to get Tokyo for free. Because even though they've already got Tokyo, Tokyo could also help them build more routes later on. And that's going to be a good thing for them to have the flexibility to do. Like, he could then discard one of his Tokyo cards later on, and he could build from Hong Kong to Shanghai, because they're in the same region. Uh, we're back at yellow now. Yellow's gonna get a directive, because directives are pretty cool. Because what Yellow's most concerned about is if Red decides to be a jerk and bid up one of these, it's unlikely that they will. Actually, you know what? Yellow's gonna grab San Francisco. Because here's the thing, Red can't really bid these up because Red is spending $7 on airport. They don't have any stocks to sell. Um, so we're back at red. They're going to claim a second route because if they do actually get, uh, Tokyo, then they can discard the Tokyo card and they can go from, uh, they can do through Shanghai to Tokyo and they can do Shanghai to Hong Kong for two routes, which is a pretty great start to the game. Um, yellow is going to take a directive. Uh, Red is going to come over here and get a tri-motor for free. And yellow is going to take a second directive. Directives are important because anybody on this space gets to be placed first next turn, regardless of anything else. So everyone has spent all their engineers. Now we begin resolving things in order. So first, the airports. That's going to be $7.00 for red, but red then gets a place in airport and he's going to put it in Hong Kong or Shanghai. Next, the bees. Everybody gets the cards that they won. So red gets a second Tokyo card. The destination cards are always face up. Saigon and Beirut go to yellow as does San Francisco. Any card that is not claimed, by the way, um, actually gets a dollar placed on it because they become more valuable. But in this case, we bought them all. Next, C happens. So red is gonna get another tri-motor and they pay nothing for it, which is pretty good. Then we claim roots. Uh, red is gonna claim two because yellow decided to save their money. Yellow's gonna try to get stronger next turn, maybe when they can buy an airport. But this is just about building lots of places and they'll be in a better shape next turn. So Red gets to claim one route and he is going to claim Tokyo to Shanghai. Because he has the Tokyo card, doesn't have to discard it. He just gets to claim the route. And his passive income now increases to one dollar. Uh, sorry, it goes on the one there. Next, he's going to claim a second route. He's going to claim Hong Kong to Shanghai, and for that, he is going to have to discard his Tokyo card. 
And we're gonna put that there. It is possible that this um, that this car, this deck runs out, and if it does, then we'll need to reshuffle it. But it's pretty unlikely that it will. Uh, and then we'll increase his passive income again, plus one more for the airport. So Red now earns a passive income of three dollars every turn. Um, and I screwed up again. The plane goes on the number, you idiot. Uh, lastly, we have yellow, and yellow, you're going to get to draw two directive cards. Um, ooh. Okay, these are both very interesting cards to have. With that, the resolution phase is complete, so we're going to hit this Return Engineers button. Uh, I don't know why you did that. Oh, it landed on the first player marker. Oops. Um, actually, it's fine to leave them out like that, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, what does matter, however, is the reason that yellow doesn't get these two back is that they stay there because they're going to be used for, uh, they're going to get priority access next turn. So, um, we've all gotten our engineers back. We're going to go ahead and refill the destination stack. Very good European routes to be claimed here. And Midway and Hong Kong are definitely going to be cards that the yellow player that the red player is going to be all over um so that's something he's definitely going to want to consider resolution phase is now finished yellow has no passive income sadly next we do the pan am phase so the first thing happens is pan am is going to expand once along the south american path pan am claims a route between miami and san juan nobody owns it so nothing happens um, let me kick myself back to that one there. Uh, so the next thing that happens is we roll the die, and it's going to tell us where the next route is going to go. And we get the Pan Am symbol. So, at this point, we have Red has an option. Pan Am is saying, I'm buying any and all routes. And I don't think it ha and it doesn't have to be on there. So if Red wants a quick buck, Red could sell one of their routes for $5. But I don't think Red wants to. I don't think Red wants to sell the route just yet. Especially when five dollars isn't very much. It's more than, like, it's a fair bit. And I think if he had one more route, he'd consider it pretty strongly. Um, but alas, here we are. So Red passes. Yellow doesn't have any routes. Next, we gain our passive income. That's going to be three dollars for Red. It's going to be a big fat nothing for yellow. And next we have the option to buy stock. Red is in a pretty decent place financially. Um, if they can get, say, Hong Kong, that's another route they can claim for free. Uh, no, it isn't. They would need... Yeah, they actually can't get another free route. They have to discard a card. Like, they could definitely do Tokyo to Wake. If they can get the Midway card, perhaps. And that would be quite nice. Um, so the question is, does Red want to buy any stock? The thing is, I it doesn't make a huge amount of sense for the yellow player to fight for the Midway card. When the card they're going to want is Hong Kong. 
Uh, because Hong Kong lets them claim the route from Hong Kong to... Um, oh, they don't have Manila. What was I thinking? Yeah, maybe they don't care about Hong Kong either. Because they want to start building some actual proper routes, which might mean, say, claiming a couple of purple routes. Um, they can't afford to fall too much farther behind. So yellow is definitely going to want to claim routes next turn. And they're also going to be first player. So the million dollar question is, does red buy any stock? And there's a really good chance the stock price actually goes up. It'll probably never be cheaper than it is now. I think Red will buy one stock certificate. Done. Yellow could also buy stock. Now, Yellow would like to build an airport. And knowing that Red only has $4 means that I can probably get an airport quite a bit cheaper than the um because red basically had to sell his stock in order to buy it and so that's a pretty good reason for him not to bother so i think yellow will buy also buy one stock certificate and that should still leave plenty of money for yellow to buy what they want to buy so we've all bought the stock we want to buy. We now end the round and yellow gets to be first player. Um, so we now flip over the next card and start a new round. The stock price increases by one. And we each earn four dollars. Very nice. I mean, red doesn't think it's so nice. Yellow doesn't think it's so nice, but that's okay. Um, and then painting will expand one time. Now, there's multiple versions of these event cards. Uh, there's four of each, so every time you play the game will work a bit differently. So before anything else happens, yellow gets to place both of their engineers from the directives deck. Are from the director's spot. Uh, Yellow definitely wants to bid five dollars for an airport and they want to claim a route. Now Yellow places his first actual engineer. So this all happens like before the turn kind of. Now because he's first player Yellow goes ahead and places one more engineer. Um... If yellow builds the right airport, they could get quite a good thing going in the longer term. So let's see. They have Saigon, Beirut, and New Delhi. They could build an airport like, say, here in Calcutta which let them claim the New Delhi route and would put them well on the way to get the Bangkok route or Saigon later on. They could also build in New Delhi, which would let, her, let them later build in Beirut, but that's they can't even get Tier 3 planes until next round. Um... So the question is, where would they put the airport? I don't know, but I do know that they're going to want to do something else this turn. Um, if they build an airline, if they build it in Calcutta and get Hong Kong as well, they can then claim this route as well. So I think that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to come over here to try to grab Hong Kong. So, now we're back to red. Red's going to take several turns in a row. So red could be really sneaky and try to claim another airport. If red does that, I don't know where they do it. Like, they've got this Bogota card, right? 
I mean, building a building an airport in Havana would get them access to two routes there. Or putting one in Port of Spain would give them a ton of flexibility. Red doesn't have to do that now, though. That's the thing. Red can make it the last engineer that they play. Um, I feel like nobody's going to take either of these cards, but Red definitely wants Midway. So Red is going to try to claim Midway. Next, we go back to yellow. And yellow is going to claim a second route. Red is going to claim a route. Yellow is not going to be able to claim two routes, I don't think. Um... No, right, they put it in Calcutta, they get Hong Kong, they'll definitely build a claim two routes. Um, for sure. Yellow really doesn't feel a need to buy more planes. Um, Yellow's gonna go ahead and go to the directive space again. Uh, red now gets to play three in a row. Here is my debate that's going on internal, internally right now. Red building an airport in Wake will basically give him unlimited expansion for the foreseeable future. He would have the route from Wake to Midway and the route from Tokyo to Wake. Without well, having to discard any cards. There's really no reason not to bid this up. There just isn't. Uh, so red is going to go ahead and put one there. So yellow is going to get to come home. And yellow says, you're not getting a second airport, dude. And this comes back for red. And red kind of shrugs his point. And they're like, well, I tried. Um... Red's going to get a directive. Red could probably use another clipper. Um, But red claiming both of these means he can discard them to go anywhere he wants. And they're both upside down for some reason. That's fine. So, all the engineers have been claimed. It's now time to do some engineering. Or resolution, rather. So, yellow first gets their airport. It's going to cost them $9.00. And they're going to place their airport in Calcutta. This basically gives them two options for routes, assuming they get their cards, which they will. Yellow gets Hong Kong. Red gets Horta. Midway. And Reykjavik. <clears throat> Next we go to planes. Um and at this point uh yellow is going to say I want to play a directive card. And they're going to play plane sale. And they're going to sell one of their little 1D leaves for $4. That actually goes in the trash. Uh, they don't get to buy the plane later on. Uh, so that's going to earn them $4. 
Red could do the same thing, but the thing is Red's actually going to use this route. Um, so they're fine with hanging on to it. Advertise is definitely something you want to play later on. Um, for sure. So, um, now we claim roots. Yellow gets to go first. Using their new airport in Calcutta, they're going to claim the route from Calcutta to Hong Kong. It costs them nothing because they have the Hong Kong card. They get one for their airport and two for their new route. Yellow gets to claim a second route, and they're going to go ahead and take Calcutta to New Delhi. And that increases their income by a further dollar. Next, Red claims their route. What you can do, and what I did when I played this uh, in person, you can take your engineers back as soon as you complete the action, but I like using the button, so I'm just going to leave them there. Um, red is probably going to take the route of Tokyo to Midway. Or sorry, Tokyo to Wake by discarding Midway. They could also discard both blues, but I think they want to save that, so they're going to discard Midway. And they're going to place this heckin' Chonkosaurus right there. Um, so that's going to be one and two. So red still makes more passive income, but yellow is definitely a player in the game now. Um, next, uh, yellow gets to draw one directive. Ooh, that's a naughty card. I like it. That's a big shocking card. The directives are super powerful. It is never a bad decision to claim a directive. Um, oh, dang. That is also cool. Okay. Oh, we have now completed the resolution phase, so engineers come home. Except for these gentlemen. Or ladies, it could be either. Um, next, we are going to do the Pan Am phase. Pan Am is going to roll to decide where they want to go. It's a Pan Am route again. Um, now, an important thing happens when you sell the route. You get your airplane back. So yellow's first player, yellow could decide to sell one of his roots. But he needs that passive income right now. Uh, and he's still got more money. He still has a decent amount of money, which means he could still buy one share of stock if he wanted to. Or he could just sell this route from Calcutta to New Delhi for $5. And I think that actually makes a ton of sense. That's what he's going to do. He's going to sell Calcutta to New Delhi get five dollars and then reduce his income by one red could sell hong kong to shanghai or shanghai to tokyo is do they want to though is the question do they want to I think they're going to take the passive income for one more turn. I don't think they're going to sell this time. That might be a mistake later on, but we'll see. We'll have to see what happens there. Um, so Pan Am claimed uh, Calcutta to New Delhi. And that then concludes the Pan Am, the expansion of sell roots part. Next, we get our passive income. That's three for yellow. And that is five for red. Next, we get the chance to buy stock in player order. Um, Yellow's airport in Calcutta is a pretty powerful driver of future expansion. Uh, oh, when do you refill the directives deck? Is it at the end of the resolution phase? The timing is actually quite important. Wow, 
When do you actually refill them? Because it kind of matters. Okay, we refill it actually right after that. So we should have done it already. Okay. Because this is going to drive strategy quite a bit. Um... That Beijing card looks awfully sexy to yellow. And they'll be able to buy cruisers starting next round, but only one person can build them. So I think having the money here is more useful. So I think yellow is going to elect not to build stock and neither will red. Um, there's other chance the stock price goes down, but more importantly, um, there's a really, this is going to be fierce competition for these cruisers because both sides could potentially build one um, by discarding certain cards. So that's, this is going to be a very interesting fight. But we have now concluded the stock round and we end the round. Uh, the first thing to do, beginning of round three, we remove this tile, and cruisers are now available for purchase. A new event is revealed. Income is doubled this round, and stock price goes up, and there's going to be two expansions. This is a really good round to have a lot of passive income. Um, it's important to consider the timing here that expansion sell routes happens before income. That's very important. That's going to definitely dictate how the strategy goes. And red becomes first player again. However, yellow went to direct us first. Yellow gets to go. If yellow wants to guarantee the cruiser, they could go right for the, the throat and go right up to 10. But here's the alternative, right? If Yola goes to eight and Red says, I really want that cruiser, I'm going to go to 10, that leaves, air, that leaves Red with basically no income because you actually get minus $2 along with the price of stock. Um, so yeah, Yellow is definitely going to use their priority access and they're going to bid $8 for the cruiser. That was weird. I don't know why they could put that could suck on. Red is has a different concern. Grabbing Wake isn't that big a benefit for Red right now. Like it's a good car for them to have. Oh, they could do Havana Bogota if they claim that route. They need another, they need another number two plane. Uh, so Red is going to come over here to the Clipper. If Yellow gets a three plane, I think they've already got the cards they need to place a route. Yeah, they could do New Delhi to Bay route. There's no reason not to do it. So they're going to claim a route. Uh, wait, no, they're not. Sorry, Red is first player. Red gets to place their next token first. I still don't think Red's going to go for Beirut. It doesn't help them. Or isn't going to go for... Yeah. So if they build an airplane, if they get an airplane, they can play a two route. Does Horda to Reykjavik, is that a route? No, it's not. They're on opposite ends there. Oh, so they want to go for Havana. That's the most important one for them because it gives them a route. Right there. Now yellow can claim a route. Now red can claim a route. This isn't a bad turn to be a big spender, 
Yellow could get sneaky and try to grab an airport for three dollars. I think yellow's gonna do that. Now red has to really think long and hard. No, they don't. Red's gonna instantly bid them up. Red might be willing to let them have the uh, the three plane, but they're not gonna let yellow have an airport for three dollars. That's highway robbery. Um, yellow could take another, yeah, yellow's going to take Port of Spain, at least offer at it. The thing about Wake is Wake would let him build other places on this route. So I guess it's useful for that. So I guess Fred will go for Wake. Now the question is, does yellow want Beijing? Does yellow want Beijing? That would give them another route, which would be New Delhi to Beijing. Or does yellow want two directives? Or does yellow want to just claim another route actually? Um, does he have Bangkok? He does not. Hmm. Beijing is pretty great. It gives him another three route. I think that makes a lot of sense. So yellow's going to go there. And then yellow's going to go get a directive. Okay. So. Why am I having right claim a route? He can't. Oh no, yes he can because he's going to get a, a number two plane. There you go. <clears throat> so. We've all placed our engineers. It's time to go ahead and build ourselves an airport. Oh, stay up there. My bad. Five dollars at a very fair price for an airport. And that's decide where he wants to put it. Um... He's got Bogota. He got. He's going to get Havana. Putting an airport in Port of Spain makes sense. That then opens up. Oh no! Wait, he's already got a Port of Spain card. No, he doesn't. Red does. Okay. Where would the airport do the most good? Like getting a vault up in Europe. It does make a fair bit of sense, especially somewhere like Lisbon or Paris. <clears throat> I think he's going to build it in Paris because he's already got two European cards. There's always chances to get more. I think that makes a lot of sense. So he's going to build an airport in Paris. Also gives him, by the way, the Paris to Beijing route, which is definitely one he can think about later on. Uh, so already paid his $5. He does increase his income by one, however. Uh, so A is done. Now on to B. That is Wake and Havana for red. And I just now realized that yellow claimed Beijing, not red. Whoops. And Beijing. I'm then going to go ahead and refill these. And there's Paris. Oh, that's what I get for not paying attention. Anyway, um, yellow gets to buy their cruiser for eight dollars. Oh, 
Whereas red gets to buy a clipper for two dollars. <throat> um, red then says, I, oh no, sorry, yellow gets to claim their root first. <clears throat> Y'all's got a lot of opportunities now, actually, but I think, I think New Delhi to Beijing makes the most sense because he's got both cards. So yeah, that's what he's going to do. He's going to go New Delhi to Beijing, and it's going to increase his passive income by one, two, and three. Um. Paris to Reykjavik is probably as good as Red is going to get. Like, I know he has... Oh, Havana is the other one. And you know what? Havana to Bogota is more valuable right now. <clears throat> Potentially. I guess it doesn't really matter. But he's going to have competition elsewhere. So we're going to do one, two... Let me make sure I'm not shortchanging yellow. That's three, four, five, six. That's what they should have. They need to really claim more roots. And then last but certainly not least, E gets to draw another directive card. Okay. Another resolution phase is completed. Engineers come home. <clears throat> We're now back to our first player as we do the Pain and Pain. We're going to be rolling the dice twice, so we're going to roll once. Okay, so they're going to claim the Asian Pacific Path, where they started in Miami, remember? <clears throat> Which means the route Miami to Havana just got claimed by them. And then they got the dots, which I think is South America. So they then claim San Juan to Port of Spain. That's Pan Am done. Next, we gain our income. It's doubled this round. Remember that. So that means that instead of earning $8, Red earned sixteen dollars. That's all right. They had six, right, or did they have eight? I think that's right. So they earned sixteen dollars. They had six. So yes, it's twenty-two. I'm right. Uh, yellow is going to be earning twelve, so they're going to go up to nineteen. That's 22 for red, 19 for yellow. Next, we get to buy stock. Um, I think buying two shares of stock for $12 would make some sense, except red really wants to get a level three plane. Or does he care that much? I don't think he does. I mean, yeah, Tokyo to Nome is possible. He could discard, say, his wake card to build from Tokyo to Nome. I guess that does make sense, actually. There is actually a three root he could grab there. But yellow also has a yellow, another three root they can claim. They could take New Delhi, Beijing, or New Delhi, Beirut next time. So there's going to be a lot of competition for the three planes again. So the question is, what would Red like to do more? Buy some stock or be in a position to outbid Yellow? Here's the thing. Because of Yellow's party access, Yellow could just go right to the 10 and guarantee themselves the cruiser. And Red can't stop that. So I'm thinking it makes more sense for Red to go ahead and buy two shares of stock. It's a bit of a gamble. 
That's going to be minus 12, so we're going to cut down to 10. Uh, you go away now, please. Whatever. Uh, that's going to be two more shares of stock. Because remember, stock is what determines whether you win the game or not. I don't know why it keeps doing that, but whatever. Um, yellow, on the other hand, wants to make sure they get that cruiser and probably another clipper also. Y'all need to save their money to invest in more roots. So that's exactly what yellow is going to do. So y'all is going to say, I mean, one share of stock wouldn't cripple them, but I don't think they're even going to buy one. Uh, we have now completed round three. But before anything else happens, what is this trigger? Oh, it triggers its stock adjustment. Okay. So next we flip over, oh, sorry, next we give first player back to yellow. And then we flip over round four. Round the world service. Each player earns one root for each root they have already claimed. That's pretty cool. So yellow has two roots, that's two dollars. Red has one, two, three, four roots, so red earns four dollars. Very cool. We increase the stock price by one, and red says, I have a card to play, please. I saw yellow says I have a card to play, I'm gonna play prediction. I get three more dollars. One, two, three. And I get to look at the top event, the top card of the event deck. So yellow knows what this event is going to be. Okay. We know stock prices are going to go down, and we know there's going to be lots of expansion. That's very interesting information. It's definitely going to change the way the yellow plays their turn. Uh, I could play the other one too, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, we will now begin assigning engineers. I will be back in just a moment. All right, my friends. So we're in the beginning of a new engineer phase. Yellow gets to go first and yellow's going to go right up to the top of the cruisers. Yellow is also first player, so they get to take another turn in a row. Since they know they're going to get the cruiser, they know that they're going to be able to build the New Delhi to Beirut line. They're going to go ahead and claim a route. Or are they? There's no need for them. There's no need for them to rush to claim the route, because without a three plane, there's no way that they can claim New Delhi to Beirut. So maybe it makes more sense to get in on the ground floor somewhere else. Could they claim two roots this turn? They could build New Delhi to Beirut first and then go here. They'd have to get a $2 plane though. Because here's the thing, Calcutta is only useful to them as a way to discard something. I said I don't really care about Rio. None of these cards are super useful for yellow. Yellow could go for an airport. It's unlikely that red would be able to outbid them. Yellow's gonna try to get an airport sheet. Now red, red desperately needs that too if he's going to keep pace. And in order to do that, he's also going to need 
Um, yeah, he's going to go, as much as it pains me, he's going to go up to 8 because he can't afford to get outbid on the Clipper. Or he can't build another route, essentially. Um, now yellow comes over here to claim a route. Red moves up to grab Mexico City. Does yellow want a one plane? I mean, he could claim Calcutta to Bangkok if he were so inclined. Or Port of Spain to Belém. It's not that great a route, though. Port of Spain to Bogota would be a pretty solid choice. So I think Yellow will just pick Claim a Route again. Uh, that's what I thought. Red is going to go ahead and claim a route of their own. What are you getting caught on? There we go. Um, so Red is definitely going to play this card. So Red's going to get sneaky and he's going to grab a trimotor for zero. Can yellow claim three roots? No, they don't have three planes. They're only going to have two. So I think yellow gets another directive card. Um... Red kind of can't afford to bid on anything else, really. So the question then becomes, does he want any particular card? Paris would be pretty solid as a choice. Can he play any one roots as it is for free without having to worry about discarding cards? I mean, he's going to do Paris to Reykjavik. That's a given. I mean, you could do Paris to Lisbon. Or Lisbon to Horda. So I think it does actually make sense for him to claim the Paris card? Yes, the Paris card. Okay. So we've now concluded the resolution phase. Everyone has assigned all their engineers. So, my gentlemen. Uh, let us go ahead and begin resolving. So, yellow gets an airport for dirt cheap. Three bucks. And where would you like your airport, yellow? Honestly, an airport in Asia makes a ton of sense. Especially like Karachi. They could basically build as many routes as they wanted then. So, I think that's where he's going to put it. He's going to put his airport in Karachi. Next, directive cards. Red is going to take Paris and Mexico City. And now for the first time, we start putting out bonus money on directive cards. Oh, it actually automatically does it. Neat. Okay. Uh, next, we buy planes. Yellow spends 10 for... a second cruiser. Red spends 8 for a clipper. Uh, 
Red gets a tri-motor for free, and then immediately says, I'm going to play my plane sale card. And he's going to sell the tri-motor he got for free for $4. And it's trash. Uh, we're now up to yellow is going to claim roots. Yellow's first fruit is going to be uh, Karachi to Beirut. Going to increase the passive income by three, up to ten. And yellow is also going to claim the less exciting but still good route of Calcutta to Bangkok. And he will discard... Where? There's only one more route into Beijing. I guess there's actually two more. There's also Shanghai to Beijing. But I think discarding Beijing is fine. It's not really going to hurt them very much. And that increases it by another point. Um, Red gets to claim one route, and they're going to take Havana to Mexico City. The reason I did this is very deliberate. There's a great chance this route's actually going to get bought. And that's going to mean $9 for red. One, two. Um, that's all the roots claimed, and yellow gets yet another directive card. quite good actually there's some really good stuff in here um right after he draws a directive card he's gonna go ahead and play advertise and yellow has one two three four roots that's gonna be four dollars okay resolution phase is done we now do the pan am phase after everyone gets their engineers back we're gonna be rolling twice Ooh, so you can sell any route you want in player order. Yellow is going to sell. Yeah, Yellow's going to go ahead and sell Beijing to New Delhi. Because he gets his plane back for $12. And I put a Pan Am there. Red is going to sell Tokyo to Wake. So we can get that plane back. And the thing about selling these routes is that these are places that normally Pan Am wouldn't go. And that's going to be nine dollars for red, so it makes a lot of sense to use it that way. And we're going to roll again. Okay, so first it's going to go South America route. So they buy the route from red, which is exactly what red was hoping for. And that's going to earn them $9, up to 28 And then they're going to go up this way. So they're going to take Miami to New York as well. And done. Uh, next, we get our passive income. Both should be reducing these. Let's see, reduced by two and reduced by three. One, two, three. Each one of us gets eight dollars. And eight. Uh, next, we can buy stock. Now, 
Yellow has inside information. Yellow knows that the stock price is actually going to drop, which red doesn't know. So red has a very important decision to make. Is red going to start paying a bunch of money for stock? Because here's the thing, right? Yellow could just instantly buy another cruiser if they wanted to. And there's enough three roots still left on the board that that actually does make some sense. Because yellow also has lots and lots of cards, meaning they could basically build it anywhere they wanted to with, you know, with some restrictions. And there's plenty of decent three roots to be had. I mean, New Delhi to Istanbul is basically theirs for sure. Honolulu to San Francisco is very possible as well. Buenos Aires to Port of Spain. Bermuda to Horta, not so much. That's going to be one that's a bit harder for them to get to. But the important thing is that they're still every advantage to having yet another cutter not a cutter cruiser so that being said yellow may not want to spend anything on stock and red knows that yellow is going to get to get, get their priority access yellow knows they're going to probably miss out on a cruiser again that's when yellow strategies worked really well for them and red doesn't know that the price is going to drop. So buying three shares of stock is exactly what they're going to do. Dropping it to 15. That is one, two, three. So red is very much winning this game at this point. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but red has been buying stock and yellow hasn't. That's okay though, yellow's got a plan as well. So we then switch back over, red's gonna be first player, and we reveal the next event. Hey look, stock price falls. And player one can either claim a route or they can gain a clipper plane. Um, do I have midway? I don't have midway. Where would I even claim the route? Mexico City to San Francisco, but I don't have San Francisco. Then again, Havana is basically useless at this point. Yeah, I will actually claim a route. So we're going to play the Havana card. And we're going to stick ourselves a clipper on midway to Mexico City. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, Havana, uh, sorry, Mexico City to San Francisco. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. Up by two. Um, yellow could get a clipper for free. That's kind of not Yellow's game, though. Yellow's kind of going big. Yeah, I think Yellow's going to claim a route. Yellow's going to go ahead and claim Istanbul to New Delhi. Right? Uh, Beirut to New Delhi, sorry. And that's going to be an increase of three for them. One, two, three, done. Um, and then yellow, after a stock is adjusted, yellow says, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna get three more dollars. One, two, three, and I'm gonna get to look at the six, the number six card. Stock price is gonna go up and we each get a free airport. That's pretty amazing. So knowing stock is going to go up means this is a good turn for yellow to really get involved in buying stock. 
so here's the million dollar question. Yellow could definitely get another, their last cruiser, and place a three root. But, knowing that the stock price is going to go up, this is a good turn for them to get a little bit more conservative with their spending. If they don't buy an airport or a plane this turn, they're going to have a lot more money to buy stock with. And they know the stock price is going to go up. So this is a good time to buy. And that could be, that could help push them in front. Because right now they're very badly far behind in terms of buying stock. Now they can't claim any more routes because they don't have any planes. But they could certainly get a tri-motor for free. So what would they like to do more than anything? What would help them wake up in the morning and feel awesome about themselves? I think taking the Natal card would be a good opening move. Like getting an airport for three is always good though. It's an increased air income and you can put it anywhere you want to. I think that's actually where they're gonna go first. Now red's going to go and red sees a possible opportunity here. This could be Red's path to getting a cutter, which you, or a cruiser, which you haven't been able to do all game. And they could really use it. Because Tokyo to Nome would be a pretty great route for them to have. So I think Red is going to at least test the waters and it's going to bid four for a cruiser. Now we're back to yellow. If yellow is going to claim a route, they're going to need a plane. How many more clippers can they have? They have. They can have three more clippers. They can have so many clippers if they want them. And there's still Karachi to Calcutta to be had, so I think Yellow will go ahead and put two for a Clipper. What is Red going to do? Red is going to cautiously claim a root. Yellow would really like Natal because that gives him another path to a three, the Natal to Bathinru or Bathurst rather. So I'm gonna go there. Um, red is going to grab the Manila card. There's a couple of decent routes coming out of Manila. There's some sense in it. Yellow. Yellow definitely wants to make some money this turn. So they can buy lots and lots of stock. And I have this Pan Am advisory board that I can use at the end of the expansion phase. Um, they're going to get a plane which they're going to use to claim a route maybe grab another directive
so red knows that yellow's got way more money than them. Wait, why does red have two more engineers than yellow? Oh, right, because yellow had their priority thing. Red's been getting left out of the directives game. I think they want a directive. A uh, yellow does need to claim a route, or this is all for nothing. Red's got enough planes that I think red can make a second route happen. So that's what's going to happen there. So... Uh, first, yellow gets their airport for $3. Um, since they're going to get Natal, building an airport in Rio isn't a terrible idea. Or, sorry, building one in Bathurst isn't a terrible idea. Um... That means you don't have to pay a card. But then again, they got lots of cards, right? They really want to go somewhere that'll give them a lot of new routes. And... Rome would give them a bunch of very cheap routes, potentially. And also block yellow from build or red from building there. They could do a major dick move and block the San Francisco to Honolulu route. I think that kind of makes sense. I think they're actually going to go... Mm, that's kind of a waste, though. No, it isn't. Put an airport in San Francisco. Done. Yeah, airport in San Francisco. And then increase that by one. Um, now we're on to directives. Red does get Manila. And yellow does get Natal. New Delhi and Seattle, eh? Okay. Um, to his everlasting surprise, red does get his cruiser for $4. And yellow gets a clipper for 2 Um, next we're going to be claiming roots. I don't think red has any cards for that phase. I think they just had that one at the reveal phase when they're revealing the event. So red gets to claim a route first. Um, he is going to do Tokyo to Nome by discarding Wake. Because Wake itself is only going to get him a 2. Like Wake to Guam or Wake to Midway. And I've got Manila to Guam if I need it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use Discard Wake. I'm going to claim the route from Tokyo to Nome. Increase by 3. 1, 2, 3. Yellow gets to play their route now, and yellow's route is going to be... What did I decide it was? Oh, Karachi to Calcutta. So that's going to increase it by two. Red then claims a second route. Um, All the routes... Oh, no, there's still one very important route out of Tokyo that he definitely wants... So he doesn't want to discard the Tokyo card. Um, Paris to Reykjavik is as good a place as any. That's another two for red. Up to 15 passive income now. Uh, next, directives. Yellow gets the first one. And red gets the second one. Oh, dang. That's cool. That's really cool.
That's a really, that's a really badass card. Okay, Pan Am expansion time. We're gonna roll the dice three times. Um, not there, game. There's fine. Okay. So, uh, we're going to expand from New York to Bermuda. And then he's going to go Port of Spain to Bogota. Is Pan Am. I roll a second time. Everyone gets a solo route. Starting with the first player. Um. Red could really use some money. Like, a fair bit of money. But if red doesn't sell, then you're gonna get $15? Yellow is an awful lot of cash, though. And if, especially if yellow is able to sell a couple more roots. Hmm. Red elects not to sell. And yellow does sell. Yellow's gonna sell this route. That is New Delhi to Beirut. And that's gonna earn yellow 12 more dollars. I roll again. And it looks like Asia Pacific, finally. Uh, so they're going to take this route off of red. And that's going to earn red $9. Bringing them up to 20. And then up the dots again. Bermuda to Horta. Oh no, it's the dots. It's not the other one. That's right, because the dice are weighted so that they prefer to go uh, South America. So there goes Bogota to Lima, to no one's benefit. Uh, that was three times, and Yellow says, I have one more trick to play. And Yellow... Oh, dang. That's awesome, too. But no, Yellow's going to go ahead and play Pan Am Advisory Board. He's going to sell another route, and he's going to go ahead and sell... Uh, Karachi to Beirut for a further $12. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three. Up to 57. That's an awesome card. Uh, he's definitely going to be considering that. For sure. Because then he can basically get his... He can get his jet for free. Which is great. Um, that concludes the expansion sell roots phase. Um, Red did not sell a root, did they? Oh, they did. They lost the one root, so they need to reduce it by two. It's really easy to forget that you need to reduce it. I need to get better about that. But anyway, they get $13. for 33 and then yellow's going to get eight for 65. So yellow knows they're gonna get their jet for free next turn. Oh, we never got our engineers back, sorry. Um, Which is incredible. It's good stuff. So yellow is, says, I see the stock price is six. I'm gonna buy 10 shares of stock. Uh, here we go. Just reduce it to five. And yellow, or red rather, actually red should have gotten a chance to buy stock first. It doesn't actually matter, but it's technically true. Red should have bought first. 
Um, like, is it worth it for them to spend thirty dollars to buy six, five shares of stock when? Uh, and they don't know the stock price is going to go up. They don't know that. So I can't unfairly say they're going to do it because the stock price is going to go up. If Red wants to get a cruiser or an airport, he's going to have to have some money, but not that much. I think he's going to go ahead and buy three shares of stock. That keeps him in the stock race, but not. But not so deep into it that he can't afford to do other things with his cards. Uh, so we now remove this. Jets are now purchasable. We reveal a card. And just like he predicted, things are going to happen. But Red says, pump the brakes, my dude. New opportunities. So, uh, we're going to take $3. And then all of these get discarded. Uh, $4, actually. I missed that other one. And then all of these get discarded, which is great for him because all these dis all these destinations are quite frankly useless. So there we go. And now Bathurst becomes massive because then that is a route that he can take. Oh no, you got in a wait, what? Yellow got in a tall? I thought red got in a tall. Maybe not. Okay. Uh so. That is that. Oh, and first play should have gone to yellow. Sorry. Uh, so stock price does go up. And now starting with the first player, each player gets an airport for free. Which is pretty amazing. Um... I think yellow's gonna put it in Rome. Because then that unlocks New Delhi to roam for them. For their super route. Red gets a place in airport. Where would Red like to have one? Bogota is useless now. Is there a good three or four route? that Rudd could get involved in. I mean, Beijing to Paris is definitely possible. They have to build the airport in Beijing to do it for free. But that's not the worst idea, actually. And plus, it locks yellow out. It doesn't lock them out. Like, Rudd could still, definitely still build there. Or yellow could definitely still build there. There's also Paris to New York, though. Which also opens up New York to Seattle. And I think that's where Red's going to build. They're going to build their airport in New York. We each get plus one to our income for the new airport. And we're only going to roll twice for Pan Am. So that's another important thing to keep in mind as we play. So, uh, starting with yellow. We start to place, uh, we're going to go ahead and place our first person here. And yellow is going to go right to taking Bathurst. Now red certainly would not object to Bathurst either. Because he could discard Bogota to play it. Red is going to try to grab a cruiser for $4. Knowing that yellow can't outbid him unless he's willing to sell stock. 
Um, which would be pretty stupid in my opinion. I don't think yellow would benefit much from doing that. Um, yellow's next move is... Cry. No. Um... Yellow have Seattle? No, no one has Seattle. Okay. Palem only gets you two roots. That's kind of gross. New York only has two roots left, and it's pretty clear that Red's gonna grab one of them. And it would cost a lot of resources to beat him to it. I really don't think it makes sense to grab any of these cards. I don't, I just don't see them being helpful. Oh, I didn't put a Pan Am for Karachi to Beirut, which I'm doing now. So I don't try to build it a second time. Because uh, otherwise I'll totally think about doing that. So, yellow. Yellow, 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 yellow. Clint Marut seems pretty safe. Um... we get there so yellow's already made their turn i mean i guess red could just claim a root but if red is going to get a big root he needs a big plane so red is going to go ahead and grab bid on the jet if i'm red i'm probably confused as to why yellow is not bidding on the jet i suspect there's some kind of trick up their sleeve but i can't prove it i'm going to claim a second root if i'm yellow Red's going to claim a root. Yellow could put down three roots. Uh, and I think they will. No, they won't. They can only do two roots. Because they're only going to have two planes. Uh, he could get a clipper. He's got two left. It only costs $2. But I think a directive card would be even better. Red is going to claim a second root. Can yellow pass up an airport for three dollars? I think they can, because yellow is going to be awfully short on cash here very shortly. Um, I mean, taking a one route isn't terrible. It's better than nothing. But I think yellow is just going to take a second directives card. And red gets a place for last entry. And does red want another airport? I don't think they do. I don't think there's a point for them having an airport. Unless they build it in Beijing, just so they don't have to worry about discarding a card. It's only $3. But at the same time, we're probably the point where we probably want to start saving money so they can start buying stock at the end of next round. So that's what Red's going to do. He's going to take a directive. Uh, okay, phase A. No one bought an airport. No problem. Yellow gets Bathurst. And everything gets refilled. A uh, planes. Red gets their jet for four dollars. Uh, 
And a cruiser for four dollars. Is it four? Yeah. Oh, it's six for the jet. Sorry. So I drop by two, and then another four. Take their second cruiser. I really should have put even more routes out, but I forgot. Yellow before the end of phase C goes ahead and plays this beauty. And they get their jet. Uh, next, yellow gets to claim their two roots. Yellow would like to claim Rome to New Delhi. And that's going to be a big old four for them. So from nine to 13. Yellow then gets the claim again, and they're going to take Natal to Bathurst for a further three. Passive income. One, two, and three. Next, red gets a claim of root. Um, so red is going to take Paris to Beijing. And he is going to discard, uh, wait, what? Oh no, I was gonna do Tokyo to San Francisco, that's right, sorry. And then that's gonna be an increase of four for him. Puts him at 19, 18, I know how to count. No, I don't. I was at 14, you add four, it's 18. Um, and then he plays a short hop and he gets a free route. That's a one. And it can be anywhere in the world, that's what free means. It doesn't even matter if he has um, a place there. He's gonna do Santiago to Buenos Aires with the thinking that there's a decent chance that Pan Am's gonna try to take that route. Uh, so he does that. And they get their second proper route. And this is going to be Oh, I had to discard a card to do that one, so I'm gonna discard Manila. And then there are no more legal routes out of Tokyo, so I'm gonna go ahead and discard Tokyo to do... Oh no, I can't, because I don't have an airport in Honolulu. Come on, there's definitely another place I was going to put a three route. Or is it gonna go for a two? Where did my airplane go? I put it here. Okay. I could do Horde to Bermuda. By discarding Mexico City. That was my plan. Okay, great. So Horta to Bermuda. And then I discard Mexico City. And I increase my income by three. One, two, three. Very nice. Uh, next we do E. Yellow is going to draw two directives. And red's going to get one. Oh dang, that's some good stuff there. And then one for red. Ooh, that's also excellent. That's some good stuff there. Okay. Another resolution phase is finished. Engineers go home. Next, it's Pan Am, and they're going to roll the dice twice. So first, they're going to do um, Asia Pacific. So they just took, and this is gonna drive yellow up the freaking wall. They just lost San Francisco to Honolulu because Pan Am got there first. Um, but Red's plan pays off. Pan Am indeed takes the route from Bermuda to Horta. 
and that's going to be a big fat twelve dollars for it. Uh, and then reduce this by three. One, two, three. That was die roll number one. And Pan Am will now buy any route. Yellow gets to sell first. Yellow is going to instantly sell New Delhi to Rome to get a bunch of extra money. Reduce by four. One, two, three, four. Put a Pan Am marker there. And that's going to earn yellow a big fat $14. Um, red could do the same thing and sell Tokyo to San Francisco. Then it's going to be a race to see who gets to Paris to Beijing first, because that's the only other really good four route left. And that's, I think it's the only one left. Oh, no, there's also Paris to New York, which Red kind of has a lockdown on. So I think Red's going to go ahead and do the same. Reduce by 4, back to 15, and get $19. Oh, $14. I suck. Uh, I'm going to rewind time because I legit don't remember. Okay, yellow, wait, red says 21. Okay, that's before he sold this line. So we're going to sell this. He gets $14 up to 35. Reduce by 4, down to 15, and we put a Pan Am marker there. There we go. There's only two more four roots in the game, so this is going to be really interesting to see how that works out as we enter the final round of the game. Uh, next, we get our passive income. That's going to be 12 for yellow, putting them up to 31. And it's going to be 15 for red, putting them up to 50. Um, there's always a chance that the stock price could go up or down. We genuinely don't know what's going to happen as yellow. But Yellow also knows they don't really have to invest anymore. Uh, Yellow doesn't need to spend money to get good stuff because they've got all these cards here. So I think Yellow is going to go ahead and buy four shares for 28, leaving them with $3. That's one, two, three, and four. Um, red has a bunch of money right now, and red also doesn't really have a big incentive to save their money. So the most shares of stocks they could buy would be, sometimes someone is 49, that's what he's going to buy seven shares and leave himself with one dollar. It's going to be five, six. I said six, seven. Okay, uh, stock phase is over. We now reveal one additional card. Worldwide headquarters. When you draw a directive card this turn, you may sell one route to Pan Am and the stock price drops. Uh, red is now first player. However, yellow is going to get to place their engineers first. Um, yellow is going to go ahead and probably claim a route. Yellow, yellow is going to claim a route. So he's going to go there. And then yellow is going to do this, which is totally legal. He gets to draw a directive card, but most importantly, once he draws it, he gets to sell the route to Pan Am. That's why he's doing that. Um, red, on the other hand, is 
I've got to get a three, a four, and a two out. I think I can make that happen. I've got plenty of cards. I'm not worried about that. Um, so red is going to come right over here. And then red's going to go right there and claim another root. Yellow gets a place in Engineer now. Um, look. What would yellow most like to do? Building another airport isn't a bad idea. Because you could put it in Port of Spain, right? Which would get him another place to put that. Oh, but Oh, but he's going to get money. Because he's got four airports. It's going to be $8. So he can definitely grab himself a cruiser. And then, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, red is probably going to go for a... Because remember, red gets to get a route for free. Uh, not for free. I mean, he still has to have like, the cards for it and everything. But he basically gets to claim two routes with his first engineer. That'd be three routes. He only has three airplanes. You get a little dinky one for free. It's not the dumbest idea. Back to yellow. Yellow's going to claim another route. Red's going to claim another route. Yellow's going to get another directive. And then red's going to get a directive. So, uh, first things first, before the, as the airport phase begins, yellow says, I'm playing destination spot. And it's going to get them $8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, B happens. Nobody claimed any cards. Um, that'll become more valuable, but it doesn't really matter because uh, no one's going to get them. Yellow then buys a cruiser for four dollars. Just so they can claim a second route. And red gets a trimotor for free. Uh, D is up next. So yellow gets to claim the route first. I think yellow takes Beijing to Paris. I don't really see any reason why yellow wouldn't go for that route. So they're going to go there. Increase by four. One, two, three, four. They're going to have to discard Bathurst and they're going to discard Hong Kong. Oh no, not Hong Kong. Uh, they'll, ca they'll, they'll discard uh, Beirut. There we go. That's what I meant to say. Beirut, Badhurst, Hong Kong, your mom, whatever. Um, so that's increased by four for yellow. Uh, red gets the next route. Um, red is going to play this card. So he's actually going to get to claim two routes in a row. We're going to do New York to Paris. And that's going to increase his income by four. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to claim... Um, where was it? Was it Buenos Aires to Port of Spain? No, Seattle to New York. 
And I will discard Reykjavik and Paris for that. And then that's going to be three. One, two, three. You then get to claim another route. This is going to be a two flight one. Question is where? I don't have any cards there. I can't do Lima de Santiago. I can't do Natal de Rio de Janeiro. I could do Corda de Lisbon, so I guess I'll go ahead and do that. For one. I need a two root that goes from purple to red, but I don't think I have one of those. Oh well. Um, yellow gets to claim another route. It's going to be a three route, and it, I need to figure out where he's going to do that. I think it was Port of Spain to Buenos Aires. Yeah, he's going to discard Port of Spain because he's got two of them. And you're going to go right here, and then that's going to be three more for you. One, two, three. And then I don't think there's any word that actually can put this two route, this two claim. I mean, I could put it on a one route. I think that's the thing you're allowed to do. Yeah, so I could... I mean, there's no reason not to claim one more route. I just can't claim the best route. I think I was thinking Seattle the Gnome, and I don't have the landing rights in either place. Um, hmm. I'll do Shanghai to Beijing. I can discard. No, I can't. I can't go there. I can only do... Okay, let's look here. I don't have any airports here, so this is not an option. I can't do Tokyo to Beijing because I don't have the right card for that. I'm gonna discard Horta and we'll do Lisbon to Paris. It's kind of a waste of this plane, but it might wind up being worth it if Pan Am buys that route. Next we draw our directive cards. And yellow is going to instantly get the chance to... Oh, sorry, red... No, yellow goes first because yellow had the first directive. So yellow is going to draw two directive cards. And yeah, these don't help. Well, that one helps a lot, but the other one doesn't. Uh, he's going to then sell the route to Pan Am. And he wants to sell one that won't normally be picked. So he's going to sell Beijing to Paris. Reduce by 4, but increase total currency by 19. Or 14, rather. It's 21. Uh, red draws one directive card. Oh, dang. Good draw. Um, and then red gets a sell the route as well, which he definitely will do, because otherwise they'll never take New York to Paris. So reduce by 4, down to 20, and gain $14. Hmm. This game may well come down to the die roll, because I have no idea who is going to get to sell stuff to... Um, to Pan Am. But we're going to be rolling it three times, so let's roll it over here. So, uh, that is Asia Pacific. That's going to be Honolulu to Midway. That benefits no one.
We get Asia to Pacific again, and that's going to be midway to wake. No one cares about that. But then we're going to get the dots for South America. And that's going to Lima to Santiago. That also doesn't help anyone. Last die roll. It's going to be Asia to Pacific again. And Santiago de Buenos Aires. So that's not a huge amount, but it's certainly going to help a little bit. That's going to earn red uh, five bucks, up to 20. Next, we each get our income, and red's going to get 20. Giving them a total of 40. And yellow is going to get 15, giving them a total of 36. Now, this is going to be very, very close. And it might come down to who has the most money left. Because what yellow doesn't know, and what red doesn't know, is that each one has a way to get free stock. Yellow is going to get two free stock, red's going to get one. And red has to buy first. Um, the most stock he could get is six for 36, leaving him with four dollars. It's going to be a five and a one. Yellow can also buy exactly six. And yellow doesn't know what card red has. So yeah, I have to do what this mensable thing would be, which is to sell, buy all of your shares of stock. Six times six is 36, right? Yes. So they're going to have zero money and have six more shares of stock. A uh, red then reveals he has one share of stock for free. Yellow reveals that they have two shares of stock for free. Making it a tied game because each has 23 shares of stock. Which means red wins by four dollars. Wow. I genuinely thought yellow was gonna run away with it with that big turn buying all those shares of stock, but the secret to red's success was red got in the way. And that's really how you have to play this game. You have to get in Pan Am's way so that they have to buy you out. That's the best way to get large sums of cash very quickly. Um, which is what you need in order to buy stock. Um, Red also had a much higher passive income the entire game because Red wasn't selling roots quite as quickly as yellow. Um, I am completely certain that there's a chance I might have missed some math here. And if I did, please let me know in the comments. But I don't think I did. Uh, but I don't feel like counting it up right now. Um... Yeah, that was super close, my friends. Ultra super duper close. And a couple of dice rolls might have changed the game. Um, Yellow's strategy of buying all the cruisers and just basically blocking red from getting them really helped for a lot of the game. And then yellow getting their jet for free was even better. But at the end of the day, Yellow got off to that really slow start where they didn't claim any roots the first turn. And that could very well have been the difference between victory and defeat. Um, or maybe it wasn't the first turn. There's definitely one turn where they just hoarded their money. And they did it for a good reason, right? They knew that the stock price was going to drop. 
So spending it then was really smart. But it really also came down to the card draw. If red had not drawn that last free share of stock card, then yellow would have won. Uh, so it was really either player's game, and it just really depended on a bit of luck. Like, there was a, like, the last two or three turns, these cards have all been useless. And you certainly can't predict that, right? You have no idea when certain cards are going to come up. Um, but that's fine. Uh, both sides chose specific strategies, and it worked out a little better for one side. Um, it's going to bug me if I don't check. Two, five, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, you know what? He should have one last dollar because that one bridge did get sold. I forgot about that. It doesn't matter that he still wins. But yeah, it should be 1, 2, 5, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15. And then he bought four airports, right? One, two, three. Huh. So I'm going to reduce that again. Nature only had $2 left. Let me actually recount because I'm going to actually change who won the game. Um, two, three, four, five. Nine, ten, eleven. And then twelve. 13, 14, 15. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So I did technically give Red two extra dollars that they shouldn't have had, but it didn't matter. It just makes the margin that much closer. Uh, it makes the margin that much closer. And it really came down to that last card. It really, truly came down to that last card. If Red had not have drawn that directive card, yellow wins because they have more shares of stock but they didn't and that concludes our playthrough of pan am um next week's game is one i am beyond the moon excited to play it's washington's war uh which is another absolute classic from mark herman uh you've already seen him in for the people and Fort Sumter, and Churchill, and Versailles. I guess I have a type. But Washington's War is, it's brilliant in so many ways, and I'm really excited to bring that to you next time. Uh, it might take two weeks. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. But until then, this has been Avindian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day, and fly the friendly skies. Bored.